Instagram and video creators. Have you guys ever spent hours on hours editing your video where your clips are synced to music, your sound design was on point, your color grade was awesome, and even your transitions just flowed ever so perfectly? You got it onto your phone, texted it to some of your family and friends, they said it looks awesome, and then you even maybe upload it to YouTube and it looks great, but the second that upload finishes on Instagram, there's nothing but artifacting, pixelation, and muddy colors, and you're like, that is not my video, that is not my video, why is that happening? Over the past year, it's been super frustrating seeing sponsored ads and the bigger Instagrammers have such clean and crispy footage. But every time I would upload a video, it just never looked good. And as a creator, it was so disheartening because Instagram and YouTube are like the two biggest platforms to share your creative work. It has me guessing, does Instagram really like supporting creators? Or are they trying to go back to how it was originally where they wanted you to just upload phone images and videos? Well, either way, I think I found the perfect settings for you guys, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere. Now let's keep a couple things in mind. Instagram compresses your video, and it seems to be that Instagram is doing a lot of compression in videos that are very contrasty and your blacks and shadows that are super dark. So there's a couple things we could do after you edit your video and your footage for your client or for YouTube. I like to copy everything over and then just make some quick adjustments. I like to boost my shadows and I like to boost my contrast. This will help the compression. Now another thing that is important is having the right sequence settings. So what I did was I made a custom 4K sequence setting and I'll show you guys how to do that. What we're going to do is go up to file, hit new, click on sequence, and then we're gonna pick anything. I'll pick like the digital SLR, 1080, whatever, and we're gonna click on it. Next, we're gonna go over to settings and make sure that we're going to put in the right information. Now, the first thing we wanna do is set our aspect ratio of 3840 by 2160. The next thing we wanna do is make sure our timeline is a 23.976 timestamp for your time code because that's how it should be when it comes to doing cinematic films. That's just the industry standard. That's what you watch on movies and TV. So make sure we're gonna go get that set up. The next thing you want to do is go to save as a preset, come up with a name. I usually just do like 4K and then I'll put the parentheses and 23.976 and then we're going to just hit save and now you're all set up. Then we're just going to select it, open up a new sequence and now we're ready to put our footage in there. Now another thing that is super important is I upscale all my 1080 footage to a 4K timeline. Whereas you might think that it's going to be compressed even more, or you're gonna lose some data and detail, you're not. Believe it or not, I thought this was bogus when I first heard Cody Blue mention this, but after seeing a bunch of different YouTubers doing it, I said, let me give it a shot, and it actually works really well. Now, on a lot of platforms, they will favor 4K footage, like YouTube, for example, and they're gonna give you more bit rate for your 4K videos where the 1080 videos, they're gonna co compress a little bit more. So you're gonna actually have cleaner footage out of your 4K timeline than a 1080 timeline, even if your footage is 1080. Just try it out, trust me on this, guys. So now that you're done editing your video, it is time to export it. So on a Mac, just hit Command M or go up to File, Export Media. Now we have to do a couple things, we're gonna name our file, so click on it, name it whatever you want. And now we're gonna go to preset. For preset, we're gonna click on, we're gonna scroll all the way down, click on YouTube 2164K. Now we're gonna scroll down a little bit more once that's selected, and we're gonna check off render at maximum depth. And at the very bottom, we're gonna click use maximum render quality. Then you're gonna hit export and let Adobe Premiere do its thing. Now your video is done exporting and you wanna get it onto your phone. Do not text it to yourself, don't message it to yourself via Facebook or email it to yourself. If you're on an iPhone, use AirDrop or Dropbox. If you're on an Android, use Dropbox. There will be no compression getting it from your computer onto your phone. 
Now it's time to go ahead and post that on Instagram and the footage should look amazing. This is what has worked for me and I wanna thank Daniel Schiffer for giving these tips and tricks. So by combining everything together, your video should look way cleaner than your past videos that you have posted on Instagram. So let's start a conversation in the comments. Do you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get clean video on Instagram? Let me know in the comments below. I wanna hear what it is that you guys have been doing and having success with your videos. Like I said, this works for me personally. It may not work for you guys, but after taking those tips and tricks and doing them, I have the best results possible. I wanna thank you guys for checking out today's video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys who like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Believe it or not, it really helps out the channel, letting new viewers see my videos. And if you guys wanna stay up to date on all my videos, hit that bell right up there for notifications so every time I drop a new video, you guys are alerted. Until next time, guys, I'm Jason Anthony. I'll see you later. Peace.